Survivor's path to healing tonight, one woman shares her personal story of emotional abuse with the red flags that she overlooked and how she finally broke free. Thanks so much for staying with us tonight. I'm Tamson Fidel. And I'm Erin LeBeau. Selena Sue is the creator of Impacting Millions, an online program that helps entrepreneurs share their message with the media. But recently, she found herself sharing her own message. Yeah, that's right. She revealed she was in an emotionally abusive relationship, and now she's using her personal experience to help other women recognize the signs of abuse. Selena, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know, Selena, I know you have a very painful story. It lasted for three long years. There are some domestic violence survivors that spent a lifetime trapped in an abusive relationship. So what finally made you stand up and just say, enough? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that, you know, when people are in emotionally abusive relationships, there is so much shame. You know, you were afraid of people judging us. How could this happen to me? And I realized that if I could share my story, I could help other people break free of that shame and heal themselves and get out of that situation. And now that you're able to look back on your situation, you said that you noticed some signs. What are those and what will you tell others to kind of be on the lookout for? Yeah, so there are four key signs. So the first is love bombing, which is over the top displays of affection. So it may seem great at first, like this person thinks that I'm their soulmate and they are, you know, whining and dining me. They have these over the top gestures, um, but actually love bombing can very quickly turn into control um, where someone is constantly criticizing you, making you feel like you are never doing anything right. You're not good enough. Um, so that is a second big sign where things are hot and then all of a sudden they're cold, the person becomes your biggest fan, next moment they're your biggest critic. Mm -hmm. um, number three is, you know, the person making you feel like you can never ever do anything right. Um, you know, again, they're constantly criticizing you and they're really making you question your judgment. Mm -hmm. And then you're starting to feel like there's something wrong with you. And then the fourth sign is really isolating and controlling you. You know, it's very common for abusers to try to distance you from your loved one, from your friends. In my case, um, my abuser was a romantic partner who got involved in my business, and he actually threatened to leave me if I didn't fire certain team members. Um, so when they're trying to isolate and control you and have you not talk to other people, that's another sign of abuse. You know, when I heard your story, I knew it was so important that other other people hear it as well. And you've you help people all the time, you know, bring their stories to the media. But what finally made you want to speak out about this? Yeah, what finally made me speak out about it is that I didn't want to keep this as a secret. And a lot of people saw me as a strong, successful woman who had, um, you know, built a very successful business. And I just felt like I wasn't congruent to keep this inside. And also, I just felt like this wasn't something that, you know, we should feel ashamed of. The truth is it could happen to any of us, right? We experience emotionally abusive relationships at times in the workplace, um, within our families and so forth. So I really wanted to normalize this and I also think that oftentimes people think that you know abuse isn't serious unless it's physical abuse unless there's physical violence um, but emotional abuse I would say is just as serious so Selena what message would you have for anyone who may be experiencing an abusive relationship yeah so my message would be that things can get better um, you know, on the one hand, on the outside, it's like, of course things could get better. But when you're in that relationship, there's so much fear around leaving. Um, oftentimes partners will threaten you. Maybe you feel afraid that they'll try to humiliate you or, um, you know, do all sorts of things that will make your life even more difficult. But when you really take the courage or um, and take those legal next steps and get that support, things do get better over time. So important that people do not feel shamed in all of this. Selena, thank you so much for giving us your voice and for coming forward and sharing your story. You're so welcome.